Yeah. It's very, very hot. I have been very sick. Oh, you have sick? You, you are sick? Yes, I am. <clears throat> I, I've got a little cough, tos, and also headache. And, and you know, and flu in my, in my nose. Oh, that's right. Uh -huh. And because I am allergic for cats and, and we have a cat here. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Say you're having a, a runny nose. Like this, runny nose. <clears throat> It is when, when we are mocosos, it is called runny yes. nose. <laughs> you get the flu. <laughs> runny nose. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh, the flu. And a headache and everything. So I hope that you get better soon. <coughs> uh, I heard that you're having an allergic reaction. Yeah, of uh, course. Because I was so worried because uh, last Thursday, I couldn't finish the class. And in the moment that you were passing the list, um, the connection of the internet was out in my house. That's why I, I couldn't finish the class that day. Okay. Yeah, but yes. Um, in that case, it's no worries because uh, your classmates, sometimes they tell me, hey, um, uh, this person lost the internet connection, but uh, he's writing in the WhatsApp group. And then I check and I, I, I read the present. And then also the, the people from administration, they check. It, it's like they, they we double check attendance. They check my report and they compare my report with the Zoom report. Mm -hmm. Oh, but they called me. They called me to ask me why I wasn't in the in the class that day, and I told them, "Well, I, I was connected for forty five minutes, and then it uh, began raining, and the internet connection was out." Okay, that's nice as you explained that that reason. So, um, but at the end, it's everything okay with with your attendance, or they told you something because you haven't missed any classes. I think that you, just one, maybe. Uh, well, only only fifteen minutes that day. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so no worries. Uh, yeah. So I would like to congratulate you because most of you have already finished the platform. That is right. nice, but I'm still missing a couple of people that hasn't finished. Remember that we finish module in two days and everything must be completed. That's part of the requirements. So I sent the, the, the presentation for today's class. Um, <laughs> I think that we will be finishing the section number five by uh, tomorrow, but uh, it's only one topic that is missing, and it's going. It, it's not going to take uh, that much time. So I would like to know if you have uh, any topic that you would like for me to make a review. We can start making the reviews tomorrow. Okay. Any specific yeah. topic that you would like to practice? Which one? No, I am finished. You finished the platform? Yeah. Excellent. Is there any topic that you would like to review? Um, Me too, teacher. I finished the platform. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Mm. I'll check later. Voy a chequear otra vez más tarde. Eh, okay. Para ver cómo van con la plataforma, porque sí, ayer que revisé todavía faltaba un, unas cuantas personas, pero la mayoría sí ya lo hicieron. Entonces les decía, ahora vamos a, a terminar el, el, el repaso con la unidad 5, porque uh -huh. sí vi que aún hay, hay problemas con el, el present continuous. 
it's a very it's a quite easy topic but it is um normal that sometimes uh, you forget to add the verb be eh, y eso estuvo pasando con frecuencia en los ejercicios que se les olvidaba poner el verbo to be y ese esta estructura siempre lleva el verbo to be so we're going to make a quick recap of this y veo que bien poquitos están conectados y no hemos terminado todavía. Está lloviendo en algunos lados. Ah, probablemente sea por el internet. Sí, aquí ha estado súper caliente ahora. So, uh, so, remember, present continuous, it is used uh, in, uh, that tense is used to for things happening now, uh, for temporary actions, things that will change, describing a current action. And we can use some signal words, like for example, at the moment, right now, currently. Those are some signal words that we can use when we are expressing that an action is um, happening in the moment. This is not really necessary but you can use them and, and it doesn't hurt if you use the turn out it doesn't hurt so um present continuous can also be used for the future as i was telling you the last week and we use for things that have made a definite arrangement to do for example i'm having dinner with my friends tonight yeah it, it sounds like a plan something uh, was arranged before that Let's see the other example. I'm playing football with my team this weekend. So if you are using it for the future is when you have already planned that um, the situation or the event. We have the forms here. We are going to go through them, studying and reviewing one by one uh with the formula how to make an affirmative statement negative statement yes no question and wh question so we are going to go over the complete topic with this slide the first thing that we have here is the the structure that we use for affirmative statements in affirmative statements here you see the, the, the plus sign meaning affirmative. Uh, what's going to be the first thing? Subject. Then verb B, it means am, is, are. Then we are going to place the main verb plus ing. And finally, the complement. And we have one example here that we are going to use. They are having dinner. So in this example, you can see how the formula is used. We have the subject, they, verb be, are, are, main bear, have, plus uh, ing is having, yeah. and then a complement, dinner. They yeah. are having dinner. So that is the way to form affirmative statements in the, the present continuous. Can you create more sentences in present continuous affirmative sentences in the um, present continuous using this picture? Besides they are having dinner, what else can you say about this picture? Say in affirmative statements. They are speaking. Oh, okay, they are speaking. They are drinking juice, excellent. They are meeting in family. They are eating in family, yes. They're happening. Uh, they, uh -huh. they are having fun. Enjoy, they are enjoying. They are enjoying. Yeah, enjoy. uh -huh. They are enjoying. Mm -hmm. They are listening. Ay, they are listening. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very they good. They are eating um, food. Yes, excellent. Now for negative, Ooh. you see the minus sign here is meaning negative. 
For negative statements, we are going to use basically the same formula, but we're going to add the word not after the verb be. We have the subject, then the verb be, not the main verb with ing and a complement. As you can see in this okay, example, good. they are not sleeping. We don't have a complement here. Uh, not always we're gonna need a complement. So you see the formula, they is the subject, verb B, are, then the word not, and then the main verb with ing, sleeping. We don't have a complement here. Um, <laughs> and so we can say uh, more negative statements about this picture. What else can you say about this picture? They are not eating. They are not eating, uh-huh. They are not angry. Uh, they are not angry. It's a good sentence. Es una buena oración, pero está en presente simple. Oh, <laughs> sí, sí, sorry. Ay, <laughs> sorry, me voy. That's okay. That's fine. Nice. Um, they are they not. They are not eating. They are not eating. Uh, como gritando. What is the bar grita? Uh, chao. Uh, yeah, yeah, they are not showering. Uh, they are in a shower. Showering. Uh -huh. Sentados como... Sitting. They are not sitting. 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 They are not they sitting. Are not sitting. sitting. Uh -huh. not like the verb is sit. Sitting. sitting. They are not mm -hmm. sitting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Now, let's see the next. Uh, think about this is that just yes, no question is the next thing that we're going to go over in this review. The yes, no question with the present continuous had this formula. We're gonna use first the verb be, then the subject, then the verb with ing, and we can have a complement. Finally, the question mark. This is the way that we structure the just no question in the present continuous. Let's see. Ah, we have the first one. And this is a very important thing to mention that when we have two words, verbs, eh, cuando tenemos verbos. Okay. Um, thank you, Roberto. Okay. When we have two words, verbs, cuando tenemos verbos, hay verbos que se forman de dos palabras, como por ejemplo, get up. Get up. Ajá. Cuando son verbos así, el ing lo toma la primera parte del verbo. Uh -huh. Getting up. In this case, getting uh -huh. up. Entonces hacemos una yes, no question usando get up. Nos quedaría, primero decimos el verbo is. Is, luego el sí. Ajá. Luego el verbo principal con ing, getting up. Ok. And we don't have complement here. No siempre vamos a usar complemento. Aquí no, no, no tenemos complemento. Is he getting up? Así nos quedaría la pregunta. That's a just no question. And the answer should be. Y, y, y la interpretación es está levantando. Sí, se yes, está levantando. He is. Yes, he getting is. Getting up. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes, he is or yes, he is getting up. Like a complete answer. Very good. Now, okay. next. If he... Let's make a statement using the picture and the word and the verb that we have here, which in this case is work. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? Una yes, is no question. She, is, she, is, she is she working? Is she now? working? Ajá, uh -huh, you can say, is she working now? Is she working right now? Se puede decir así, teach. Yes, you can say it like that. It's excellent. Is she working right now? And the answer? No, 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 she is not. No, she is not. Uh-huh, say, you can say, no, no she's she. not. No, no, she, no she isn't. isn't. In the kitchen. Uh-huh, she's not working. 
And you can add more details. You can say, no, she's not working. She is cooking. Next. Yeah. Mm. Do you know this verb? Is she right. laughing? She laughing. Laughing. Uh -huh. laughing. Is she laughing? Is she laughing? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Are they are running? they running? Excellent. Are they running? No. Yes. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. No, no, they aren't. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. They are they are eating they coffee. are in drinking coffee. They are drinking coffee. They oh. are they are meeting. They are um they are I speak <laughs> Okay. What about this one? Shopping. Oh. They are jogging. Are they jogging? Are, are, they, they, are, they, are they? Because it's question. Remember are that we are they? working with just no question. It will be, are they jogging? jogging. Mm -hmm. No, they aren't. No, no they, they aren't. They are running. They are running. They are running. He can't they jog. Running. He doesn't. He can't jog. jog. They, no, they are doesn't. What is the meaning joke? I don't know, ya. <laughs> Por eso les puse unos señores ahí de avanzada edad. Jog es trotar. Oh. Trotar. Yes, they are. Yes, ah, they, yes are. they are. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Por eso les puse esta. Para ver si les encontraba alguna palabra nueva. <laughs> Now Ciao. you can add it. Ciao. No, they. Oh, yes, they are. They are jogging. Yes, they are. This Ciao. new word for me, teacher. New word. Excellent. New word. Y la otra que les tenía ahí, laugh. Laugh. Esa sí ya la conocí. Running. Esa sí ya la sabía. Okay. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay, remember, jog is like run, but slowly. Slowly. Yeah. Okay, now information questions have basically the same structure. The only difference is that we add a WH word before the verb be, and we cannot answer with a yes or no. We have to provide information. Look at this. First, WH word, then verb be, then subject, then the main verb plus ing, and then a complement. Let's see. We have one example here. Why is she eating a salad? So we have the first thing, the WH word. Then verb B, then the subject, uh, then the main verb the, plus ing, and then the uh, complement. Mm -hmm. Can we answer yes or no? Mm -mm. We have to provide yes. a reason. Why is she eating a salad? Because she Lose wants to lose, lose weight. She likes. She is right. <laughs> oh. She is. Because. Oh, because Don't she... like. Your face is. Uh... Yeah, he, her face. Her face means that she's not happy with that food. Uh -huh. yeah. So probably she is. Because uh, she wants to slim. Uh -huh. she, she wants, wants to, to get slim. Gym. She wants to be healthy. Uh huh. Very good. So, in that case, we provide reason. Um, questions? That she is, come on to this, uh, fat to this teacher. Mm -hmm. Hey, overweight. Uh huh, because she is overweight. Ah, porque tiene sobrepeso. Sobrepeso. Está gordita. Because she's okay. overweight. overweight. And we don't know you would say heavy or overweight. Uh, because uh, okay. the, the word fat is take as a rude word. Se suena como un poco como eh, 
fuerte, es una palabra fuerte decir fat, entonces normalmente se dice overweight o heavy. Y se le digo fatty, igual. <laughs> eh, no, you can say fatty or chubby and um, that's okay. Teacher, entonces Más cuando estamos haciendo una pregunta con el WS, eh, o sea, no precisamente, ¿verdad? Vamos a utilizar el bien sino que vamos a contestar acorde a lo que nos estén preguntando. Good catch, Evelyn. Excellent. Eh, sí, cuando estamos haciendo una WH question, ahí sí ya no no necesariamente van a contestar con el ING, sino que por la razón es, es, es más que más bien en este caso en un como presente simple, ¿verdad? Ah, porque ella quiere estar saludable, because she wants to be healthy. O igual podría sí contestar, because she is following a diet, porque ella está siguiendo una dieta. Oh, because uh, she is in the process of losing weight, etc. Pero si sí, no necesariamente va a contestar con el ING. Okay, thank you. Así con el ING en este tipo de preguntas. Muy bien. Any other? More questions before we move? No question. No questions? Okay, so <laughs> vamos a ver. En la práctica, ¿cómo pondrían en práctica este repaso del verb, uh, del tan, present continuous tense en this? So, we are going to answer these questions in your notebook. Van a ir respondiendo okay. en su cuaderno solo, solo la respuesta, number one and the answer. A, B, or C. Vamos a ver la primera, basándonos. Hemos visto ya el repaso de las uh, yes, no question, WH questions, affirmative and negative sentences with the present um, continuous. Basándonos en eso, eh, vamos a ver qué falta aquí donde están los tres puntitos. Falta lo que dice la A, la B o la C. ¿Cuál completaría? Dice, I'm watching hey, TV. And my brother. And my brother is reading. Is reading. Is reading. Ajá. Necesitamos verb B y el verbo principal con ING. Por eso no podíamos poner la A porque nos iba a faltar el verbo to be. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, the answer is B. So you write number one, letter B. Y así van a ir haciendo las demás y en un ratito vamos a ver hey. cómo les ha ido. So, okay. you can work on your notebook. And then we're going to check.
Have you finished? Finish. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see, Sandra, can you give us number two, please? Number two is um, uh, Thomas and, and Patrick oh, yeah. are, are playing outside in the yard in the yard now. Okay, are playing. Letter A. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, letter A. Uh, can you select okay. someone for number three, please? Uh, select someone to continue with number three, please. Okay. Uh, please, Evelyn Liliana. Evelyn Liliana. Evelyn, Liliana, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here, but I have a permanent problem right now. Okay. Sorry. That's okay, okay. okay. And then, um, let's see, uh, Ana Ericelda. Okay. Three. Um, uh, what are you doing? That's correct. What are you doing? There are eight. Very good. Uh, select someone for number four. Anna, please. Roberto. Roberto Carlos. Okay, Marjorie, can you help us with number five, please? Or, sorry, number four. Number four. Uh, they aren't eating their. They aren't eating the dinner right now because their food is too hot. Okay, very good, excellent. They aren't, let us see. Very good, thank you, Marjorie. Uh, number five, okay. Roberto, do you have number five? Uh, me, uh, teacher. Okay, Evelyn, Liliana, give us <laughs> a little thank you. Okay, and uh, number five, uh, yes, I do. No, yes, I am. Yes, yeah. I am. Excellent. Thank you so much. Excellent. Um, let's see. Number Maybe. six. Okay. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. What? What, what are, are you, you doing? doing? Excellent. Thank you so much. Learn, uh, number seven. Me, teacher. Okay, Evelyn. Letter C. I'm I can't talk to you right now because I'm studying. Excellent. That's the answer. Thank you so much. Uh, volunteer for number eight. Me too. Okay, go ahead. Hey, hey teacher. Uh, he usually go for a walk in the sun, but he doesn't go for a walk now. Um, another option. He usually, she usually goes for a walk at this time, but he isn't going for a walk now. That's correct. Letter C. Thank you so much. <clears throat> uh, volunteer for number nine. Me teacher. Thank you, Adrian. Uh, Number nine is letter A. It's very uh, newsy. Oops, sorry. What are they doing? Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. That is the answer. It's very nicey upstairs. What are they doing? Thank you so much. Excellent. Number 10, a volunteer. Me. Thank you. 
Are they working now? No, they aren't. <laughs> Excellent. That's the answer. Thank you. Number 11, volunteer. Hi. Okay. Okay, 11. I, I am not making dinner because we ordered pizza a few minutes ago. Excellent. That is the answer. Thank you so much. Number 12. Me, teacher. Okay. Is he sleeping right now? Yes, he is. Is he sleeping? Very good. Excellent. Number 13, a volunteer. What is that? Yes, that's the What is that cat doing over there? Excellent. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Number 14. Who are we waiting for? Uh -huh. Who are we? Who are we waiting for? Is waiting for. Thank you so much. Excellent. Uh, 15. Who is driving the car? Who is driving the car? Yes, excellent. Thank you. And uh, finally, number 16. He isn't. Uh huh. No, he isn't. That would no, he answer. isn't. Yeah. And we can double check the answers in the next slide. As you can see, number one, the answer was letter B. Number two, A. Three, A. 4C, 5B, 6A, 7C, 8C, 9A, 10A, 11A, 12B, 13A, 14B, 15C, and 16C. Yeah. Okay, so those were the answers. So um, we're going to move and I'm glad to see that most of you are here. Because at the beginning I, I started like with, I don't know, less than 20. Uh, okay, so we're going to check attendance and uh, I'd like to know if you have any question before we move on. Hay preguntas. No yes, I have a question, teacher. Yes. En la número. Quiero ver, en la número 11 creo que era, teacher. No entendí que era una palabra. ¿Qué palabra era, recuerda? Puede ponérmela de nuevo, teacher. Ahorita. And, uh... <coughs> okay, once. Uh, no, number nine. Uh, 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 es que aquí se confunde uno porque eh, está con is y se contesta con day porque está hablando after de varias escaleras. <laughs> uh, es, es que la primera es una oración. En la oración está diciendo, it's very noisy upstairs. Luego viene la pregunta, ¿qué están haciendo? ¿Qué están haciendo ahí arriba? What are they uh -huh. doing? So, the question is, uh, ¿por la palabra noisy o por upstairs? Por, por las dos, por ambas. Ok, noisy. Eh, noisy means ruidoso. Noisy. Uh -huh. Noisy means ruidoso y upstairs es para referirnos al piso de arriba. Upstairs. Piso de arriba. Uh -huh. okay. Es como de arriba. Uh -huh. Upstairs. Ok, cool. Uh, take notes of every new word and practice it. Qué okay. bueno que ya aprendieron un par de palabras nuevas en esta sesión. So, that's nice. Uh, <clears throat> ya trotar. 
Okay. Uh, remember that we are about to finish the module, so uh, the platform should be completed by Wednesday midnight for latest. I congratulate most of you because you have finished already the platform, but some of you are still pending. Traten de terminarla. Son poquito los que están pendientes. Bueno, that's fine. Okay, let's see, Adriano Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Aida Maria. Presente. Ana Elizelda. <laughs> Present. Ana Jancy Orellana. Present, teacher. Braulio Javier. Braulio Javier. No, no está por aquí Braulio Javier. Ok, Candida Janet. Claudia Patricia. Uh, Claudia Patricia. Diego Arturo. Okay, Edwin Haciel. I'm here. Okay. Evelyn Elizabeth. I'm here, teacher. Evelyn Liliana. I'm here. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Ismael Eliseo. I'm here, teacher. Okay. I'm here. Jerry Alejandro, thank you. Present teacher. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. No, no, no. I think it's not here. Jorge Alberto. Eh, José Manuel. Judith del Carmen. Present. Lindiana Margarita. Present teacher. Kathleen Giselle. Present Luisa Maria. Teacher, ya me mencionó. Uh, name. Claudia Rivas. I think, yeah. Sí, Claudia Patricia Rivas. Yes. Um, me, me había sacado de la uh, plataforma. Okay, no worries. Ya le puse ahí. Um, María Susena. <coughs> María Susena. Qué raro, quizás se salió no. María Susana porque también la vi. Oh, ah, no. No creo que ella escribió que no iba a poder estar. Marjorie Vanessa. Present teacher. Melida Rebeca. Present. Natalia Emperatriz. Present. Roberto Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Sandra Araceli. Present, teacher. Tania Michel. I'm here, teacher. Vladimir Adalberto. Present, teacher. Jacqueline Araceli. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. So, uh, we finished checking attendance, so we will continue. Uh, Let's see, I'm going to share my screen. Let's see, okay. Right. Thank you forever. Right, let's check. What do we have here? We have a conversation. We already finished the topic of the simple present. So we're going to go with the conversation. I come from a big family. My sound. I'm from a big family. 
that's what we're going to do. We're going to listen for pronunciation and then we're going to practice. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to me, Lee and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. Don't hear you, teacher. Thank you. I always forget that I mute myself. Um, so uh, this is what we already did. We listened the pronunciation for this conversation. I come from a big family. Uh, do you have any question about vocabulary or pronunciation about this conversation? Teacher, no a day, no a day significa our idea. That's correct. It's our India nowadays. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Martin, you got a new look today. <laughs> you dye your hair. Yeah. Nice. I like that color. Punk. Okay, so if there are no more questions about this, uh, we're going to practice in groups. Okay. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Please join and practice. We're almost done. We're almost finished. Two days more. ¿Qué pasó? Vaya. ¿Por qué? No sé si me metieron a un grupo, pero no lo veo. Hola, Ida. Hello. No dejale ese plato a tu tía. Eh, creé las secciones de grupo. 
tiempo los estoy uniendo de nuevo. No sé si se les aparece ahí el mensajito para que se unan a un grupo. Hola. Hola, no le apareció el mensajito. Eh, estoy teniendo problemas con él. No sé qué mensaje era. Hi, somebody asked for help here. Yes, uh, I can. No, I don't have a picture. All right. Like a screen. Okay, I will share my screen so you can do it now. Okay, thank um, you. Let's see. No lo encontré. ¿Ya lo encontró? No. No, no lo encontré. No me acuerdo en qué carpeta está guardada. Ah, okay. Aquí lo pueden. Okay, Miss, listen to me. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm Marcos. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meli? Actually, I am an only child. Only child. Really? Child. Really? Yeah, most family in China have only one child. No, no, no worry. No. no. Know that ah, I didn't. I didn't know that. What about you, Marco? Um, I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Uh, whoa, is that typical in Peru? In uh, not, not really. A lot of our family are smaller. They're smaller this day. But big families are great because you get a lot of a birthday present. Okay, very, very good. It's just to practice the pronunciation here is child. Child. Peru. Child. No, no worries. Peru. No worries. No worries. No worries. No worries. Uh, this one, nowadays. Now, nowadays. Nowadays. Uh -huh. Nowadays. Nowadays. What's the meaning? Nowadays. Es como decir hoy en día. Hoy día. Uh -huh. O actualmente. Uh -huh. Actualmente. Nowadays. Uh -huh. Nowadays. Okay. 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 How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm only shy. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one shall know no why this. I I didn't know that. How about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of family are smaller these days, but big family are great because you get lost or be depressed. Oh, great. Aha, uh -huh, you improve a lot. Mejoraron un montón en esta segunda ocasión. I know this word is difficult, but you can continue practicing nowadays. Nowadays. Uh -huh. Nowadays. It's a new nowadays. word for me. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. I see that today you learned a couple of new words. <laughs> the yeah. hoy sí estuvo como con un par de palabras nuevas, ¿verdad? That's amazing. Okay. So, just keep on practicing. Just relax and say, nowadays. Nowadays. Excellent, you did it nowadays. 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 Excellent. 
practice no, again. Practice. No sé si ya le tomaron un screenshot para salirme a ir a otra sección. Yes, you okay. can. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Have you finished practicing here in this group? Yes. There. You practice a lot then, then you're tired. <laughs> yes. Many All times. right. Very good. So um, in that case, I think that if you say that you practice a lot and you're tired of practicing, that's fine. So um, see you in the main section then. Okay. I think I think the teacher is not here anymore. Ah. Okay. I always forget I'm in mute. Okay, so I see that most of you finished practicing. I heard a couple of groups um, doing their best in order to practice. And uh, do you have any question in regards of this? Or we can uh, role play a couple of times more because the only thing that is left is a video about the quantifiers. Let me see if everybody's here again. Teacher, only one thing, teacher. Yes. Uh, over here it says, how many brothers and sisters do you have? And instead of using brothers and sisters, we can use siblings, right? That is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Is there any other question, doubt? No question, no doubt. Okay, so um, we will move on. And uh, before that, now that uh, almost everybody's here again, I'm going to ask you, is there any topic that you would like for us to review in these two days that we are living? It's just two days left. Solo nos faltan dos días. Y pues terminamos la sección cinco. No sé si hay algún topic en específico que les gustaría que preparemos en repaso. Coach, fíjense que estaba viendo un video y escuché, he escuchado bastantes veces una frase y no logro distinguir qué dice. Dicen, if you notice, ¿qué es eso? If you notice, es como si te das cuenta o si lo notas. If you notice. Ah, ok. Thank you. ¿Y cómo se escribe? I'll write it now in the chat. Ok. Uh, if Teacher, you... Tengo una pregunta, pero no relacionado a esto, sino a una pregunta. Ya lo escribí. If you notice. Yes? What's your question? Thank you. Sí, este, quería saber eh, la palabra vidrio, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Glass o glaze? Glass. Ah, glass. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. Uh -huh. Glass. Any other question? Yo tengo una pregunta. Este, Piense que en Instagram a veces veo imágenes de ideas. Entonces, para escribir tan hermoso, se utiliza el so. So beautiful. That's correct. Uh -huh. That is, eh, eh, the, the word so eh, es como para dar un, más fuerza o realce al adjetivo. Eh, es como para decir tan o muy. Uh -huh. so, no. and, and instead of saying very, very beautiful, yeah. very, no, that so was very beautiful. That beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yeah, you can say so beautiful. Is that beautiful? Uh, that beautiful, yes, but it is when you use so, cuando usted le da el so, es para hacer que el adjetivo sea más fuerte. O para decir tan bello, so beautiful, right? Okay. And, and instead of using very, um, so you use that one. Igual lo puede usar en, en adjetivo ya sea eh, positivos. Como decir beautiful, you can say so beautiful. Um, if it is something negative, algo negativo, como decir eh, tan horrible, so horrible, yeah, you can use it that way either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And that's it. Uh, any other question? Um, but we can use, uh, sorry, but we can use only also um, that, that much. For example, uh, is it difficult to learn French? Mm, not that much. Mm -hmm. It's como no tanto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can say that or not very much, not, not that much. It's como not that much, it's like no tanto. Mm -hmm. And yeah, in that case, right. in ese caso, sí, no podríamos usar el so. That's, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right. So I'm Thank glad you so much. Yeah. Some doubts. Mm -hmm. So we're going to stop here and I will see you tomorrow for a new section. Tomorrow we finish. So terminamos mañana con estos quantifiers que introducimos mm -hmm. ahora con esta conversación. Y mañana sería ya solamente eso, que sería el último video de la plataforma, un par de ejercicios y el review, que como no me dijeron, voy a tener que inventar, ¿verdad? Eh, quizás eh, los possessive adjectives and pronouns, sentí que les costó un poco. Sí, eh, es. Possessive adjective pronouns. Y los comparatives no sentí que les costaran tanto, pero podemos hacer el repaso mm -hmm. también. Tenemos dos días okay. o mañana va a ser eso. Y si hay algún otro tema que quisieran repasar, me lo pueden hacer saber mañana para tomarlo en cuenta el viernes. Ya que la mayoría tomaron ya el examen y el viernes, eh, perdón, el jueves, el miércoles, el último día se toma para hacer un repaso eh, por los que no han hecho el examen. Ok, so thank you for joining us today. Uh, okay. section see you tomorrow see, see you, you. Tomorrow. Good night. Night. Bye. bye bye